Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here. And in today's video, I want to talk about something that's come up more recently for me. And uh, as you can see here that we're taking a look at uh, my baby account, Boylon Baby, who has recently hit level 74. Now, as I've been grinding up, especially past level 70, you know, I've, I've thought to myself, how long is this going to take? And I did some old digging into some of my spreadsheets and I found an old experience spreadsheet where I documented the basically the amount of time that it would take to get to 1 to 75, 76 to 80, 81 to 85, and then 86 to 90. And then I added them all up and it was a real shocking revelation to understand how hard and how long that a new player has to play this game in order to reach what would you know amount to be a reasonable end game, whether that be uh, level 90 completely, or you know there's certain instances where I think that the game really opens up for you, especially at around level 75. So level 75 is when you get gear tier 14, and I think a lot of spaces open up after that. But we're going to talk about all that and more if you're interested. Uh, so if you're ready to go, let's boil this down. And I just kind of wanted to start here in the Epic Campaign section a little bit. I want to talk about my experiences with Dark Dimension on this account. So I'm currently in the process of running through Dark Dimension 1. Yeah, yeah, Dark, Dark Dimension 1 because you need six dark characters. And I only have a few of them actually at this point. And these are the ones that I have. Now, obviously, I got Ultron from doing Dark Dimension 2. I haven't geared him, though, of course. Um, I'm basically trying to get through this with Shang-Chi because I have geared him up the most. Uh, Wolverine's level one, Black Panther is slightly geared, and Hulk is also slightly geared, but you know, it's been a bit of a struggle. Some other six star characters that might be coming up the way soon for me would be Squirrel Girl and Scarlet Spider. <laughs> Most of my other characters are not close, maybe Ghost Spider soon. Uh, but uh, and maybe Miles as well. But you know, it, it's a bit of a grind for new players to get six star characters except for the ones that are, you know, immediately farmable. Not super, super important there. So Dark Dimension 2, I did clear right away at level 70, because you can use whoever you want, right? Like, this is pretty easy. I used my main arena team, and it really didn't take that long to get through. Now, coming up, I guess, probably in a couple of weeks, we'll have Dark Dimension 3. And honestly, I've not been paying too much attention to this, because I'm not going out of my way to have to build specifically for this because we're in a bit of a weird time now where, you know, there's Dark Dimension 3, Dark Dimension 4, Dark Dimension 5, and then I guess like, you know, quasi Dark Dimension 6 in the form of the Apocalypse Saga. But then I thought to myself, well, what are the chances that my account here can even participate in this when uh, he's probably forecasted to come out in March, maybe March, April at the latest, you know, which gives me what? for four months and a bit and so i wanted to think well what level is my account even going to be at by the time that that comes out and that's when i went back to the spreadsheets to really take a look at that and, it, and it's really quite shocking actually if you do 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 that so i want to kind of bring your attention to this and this is my experience tracker uh, i kind of go through a lot of the levels and there's one thing that i this is a, a bit of an old sheet so i just want to keep that in mind or bear that in mind for you guys, that uh, this hasn't really changed much, the daily objectives and how much experience you get per day on those. But now we have the 100 uh, energy that you do get from the store. So that this is not included with that. Now, as a, as a total of what that would be, though, is not a ton. So do keep that in mind. But anyways... So that's the total amount of experience that you get from daily objectives. Uh, those are pretty important. And actually, what's really interesting is I'm pretty sure, and maybe it's maybe you can't see it here because I've already claimed it, I think, for the day. Uh, but there's the training and equip gear piece objective. And I'm still getting this at 74, but in the past, this kind of cut off. Maybe it, maybe it stops at 75. I don't know. You get about 100 XP for that from those two. It's 50 each. And uh, this is the energy generation, so 1108. One thing that I want to point out as well is that ISO 8 was not available until le um, level 880. Because if you go back into Dark Dimension, uh, for those who you know haven't been around that long, there was no ISO 8 until after Dark Dimension 4. 
if you notice that Dark Dimension 4 characters don't have ISOs on them, that's because ISOs didn't exist then. We did have Red Stars, but we didn't have ISO 8. Dark Dimension 5, however, on the other hand, of course, has characters with ISO 8. So as far as the XP that you got from ISO 8 energy from spending, it's, it, it's worth a fair bit. And that's where the numbers got crunched down a bit from the grind from 1 to, uh, I believe it's 1 to 80. And because that was an additional 720 energy or 720 XP that you would get per day. And so I kind of added this all up from the energy perspective. And if you didn't core that much, you would get about 1,248 XP from energy per day or 1,828 if you did. And then if you add it all up with the total of daily objectives, then you would get about a 2,033 with no cores and then 2,613 with cores if you did spend on your campaign and your ISO 8. Personally, I don't recommend you spending cores on ISO 8 energy, uh, and even some people aren't coring that much on your campaign energy, your regular campaign energy as well, because now that with events requiring so many cores that a lot of people are kind of holding back on that, and so that's slowing down the levels a little bit. Now, this was this is the TLDR version. This is basically how long it takes to get to the different marks and this is why i did this back then because i wanted to know roughly how many days would it take to get to the various thresholds now it's important that i did say uh to level 55 because this is when you unlock iso 8 and this isn't very long this is about like maybe 30 to 40 days depending on how much you're coring uh, i did say here based on 100 cores daily but if you're not doing that if you're not doing any cores into your campaign energy then you're probably getting it's going to be a little bit slower so I, i'd wager it's about 40 days for that maybe and then you'd, it'd be a little bit faster if you're doing a little bit more course. So this unlocks ISO 8, and that unlocks the ISO 8 XP that you would get. And so that quickens things. So these new numbers would have been a lot slower without ISO 8, but as a result, it's kind of really made things go a little bit faster. So to get to level 70, which is when you get uh, the Hero 7, Villain 7, uh, in Nexus 8, and I believe Doom War Chapter 1, then you do get this at level 70, and it's approximately 113 days. This is about four months, you know, you know, just, just under four months to get to level 70 for Gear Tier 13 and Dark Dimension 2, which is very easily completable. So that's not too bad, and, and this is pretty accurate, actually, uh, because I started my baby account at the end of June. And I'm recording this on November the 14th, which means that we had July, August, September, October, and half of November. So about four and a half months. Uh, I haven't been coring that much on, on, on campaign energy, so this is this is fairly accurate, I would say. Uh, and, and of course, the, these numbers are based on 100 cores daily. My baby account, I, I don't really core that much on energy, so that's probably why I'm a little bit behind these numbers. And then to go from 70 to 75, like it's an additional 50-something days. And that brings us to 165 days, which is five and a half months from starting the game. And that's when things really open up with not necessarily Dark Dimension 3, but it's really the level 75 part because that gets you to Gear Tier 14, where stats really open up on characters. Some of you may or may not know that actually Gear Tier 14 is one of the biggest stat jumps when it comes to upgrading your characters. And this is when you're gonna unlock a lot of things, and more particularly, Dark Dimension aside, you know, now we have the new campaigns that have recently come out. And this is really important because that unlocks level 75. So the Heroes uh, chapter, and then of course the Villains chapter, which will be out as well, these require level 75. And these have some really good rewards on it, some really good characters, some really good origin gear farming, and so on and so on, and that doesn't open until then. So you're gonna have to wait for that. And then, of course, the wider Do More chapter, I haven't completed this stuff yet myself, uh, but chapters 2, 3, and 4 don't unlock until level 75. And what else unlocks at 75? You get Blue ISO as well. So, so many things actually open up in the game when you hit to level 75, and that's a very big mark in the game. So, we're talking about five and a half months that new players have to go through, maybe a little bit more for you to get to that point. And, and all of this really comes back to whether or not the new player is going to survive that long. And I think that we really need to start crunching down these numbers a little bit, and we need to start shortening the time period to get to each of these thresholds. But let's keep going anyway. So Dark Dimension 4, that's level 80, and that's going to take about a total of 226 days. Now, that's not addition to this, it's just like total. So now we're looking at, uh, let's, let's round that up to 230 days. And so that's almost um, 
eight months, I think, because eight months, eight, eight times 30 is 240, pretty sure. So, you know, it's just under eight months, seven and a half months. So that's quite a long time. Now let's go take that a little bit further to Dark Dimension 5. And that's 295 days, keep in mind the 100 core rate. Uh, and so that's approximately 10 months. I'm rounding up a little bit here because if you didn't core, then yeah, it would probably be about 10 months. So that's a very long time to get to end game. And we're not done yet still. So this is just what I did for this spreadsheet. That was uh, the one to 85. You can see the numbers here. Uh, I broke it down quite heavily, like depending on how many cores you had, the old version, which was like pre ISO eight and the new version with ISO eight over here and how many cores you spent on each section. Like I'll, I really broke it down. You can see how the numbers kind of change. These are without ISO eight and then with ISO eight. And then I just, that's how I created those numbers, the TLDR version. And this was 81 to 85 because I did the, the math on that and, and and how long it took just in between the stages so this was 80 to 85 and basically if you didn't use cores to get to 85 from 80 would take two and a half months give or take and that's a long time anywhere from two months to two and a half months for the this five level threshold and that's really probably what we came to expect and then now we have level 90 and i want to add this in here now too so 85 to 90, depending on how many cores you spend, and this is including ISO 8, by the way, uh, which I know is not, uh, this is only for campaign energy coring because I don't typically recommend ISO 8 coring. Uh, so I just want to keep that in mind there. So if you're doing balls to the wall kind of energy coring across both, it's only going to take you about just over two months. Uh, but if you're not doing any of that, it could take you upwards to three months. So that's, you know, two to three months is quite a bit. Let's take 90 days. Let's just do a flat 90 days on here from 85 to 90 and then tack that on to these other numbers down here. Okay. So that brings us take that 295 uh, to get to level 85 tack on 90 days and that's 385 days. That's more than a year. And so does do new players want to sit here through a year before they actually get to plausibly end game? You know, uh, I guess Endgame is, to me now, like Doom Raid 3. And that kind of is basically like about a year. Maybe just under a year, maybe 10 months. And when we talk about the Apocalypse Saga, it's really important because when people are thinking about this, with new players especially, and I was talking about this in my Discord, and this is part of the reason why I decided to do this video, was that Apocalypse is irrelevant. For anyone under level 75 right now, is super effing irrelevant. Now, you'll probably get use of some of the characters right now, like Morgan Le Fay, like Rogue, and, and, and possibly, you know, all the leaders of the Horsemen, you'll probably get use of. But the wider team, I don't know if you will or not. And so I don't know if it's super important to gear them. And it's definitely not important to gear them to gear 16. Because by the time you actually spend the time to get the levels, you're, you're not going to be, you're not going to be unlocking Apocalypse. You're going to be skipping him. You're going to be going to whatever's next, whether that be Galactus and the Heralds or otherwise, it doesn't really matter. But the, the it's really important to understand how long it's going to take you to get to level 75 to 80, 85 and 90, because those are separate thresholds that are going to require a different set of time, usually about two to two and a half months, maybe two to three months per threshold. And that's super important because we only have four months until Apocalypse comes out. So if you're not even like level 80 or 85 right now, I wouldn't even worry about Apocalypse. Just worry about whoever comes after him. You know, play how you want to play. Gear the characters that you want to gear because he's going to be irrelevant for anyone under a certain level because of how long it's going to take for you to reach that end game. Because you can't even get to gear tier 16 until you're level 85 at the bare minimum. So if you're not 75 at this point, essentially, then don't even worry about these characters required for Apocalypse because a power creep will be moving on past these characters and will be moving on to the next big thing about March or April of next year. So I wanna put this into perspective for everyone so that people don't get too crazy and you know freaking out about it. But my biggest concern really at the end of the day before we end off here, is how long it takes. Now, we have a bit of an issue when it comes to new players and players sticking with the game. And I really hope that maybe if Community Manager Archangel listens to this video or watches this at all, that maybe he can take this up with uh, some of the people over at Boundless because I think it's very important to understand player retention and how it can take so long for that to get engaged 
with the wider game to get engaged with alliances that do more end game content because if it takes like 10 months for people to get to the level to do this kind of stuff they're not going to stick around long enough to actually play it and that's kind of the most important thing for me is whether or not these new players joining marvel strike force are going to stick with it towards the end but let me know in the comments down below. I hope this was actually a video that was kind of enlightening for everyone uh, if you guys weren't aware of this issue. And it's something that's really important to me because I want to see this game actually do well. But there's a lot of issues. There's a lot of nuances that we don't quite understand, especially the new player experience and when it comes to how long it takes to get through it. So uh, that's the end of this video. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.